A very warm greetings to all of you to the NPTEL online course on Smart Grid Basics to Advanced Technologies. I am Professor N. P. Padhi from the Department of Electrical Engineering, Indian Institute of Technology, Roorkee, and currently serving as the director of MNIT Jaipur. Warm greetings to all of you. I am Premla Tajena. Associate Professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering, Indian Institute of Technology, Roorkee. Today, we are moving towards the modernization of the electric grid to address various grid challenges, including rising electricity demand, aging grid infrastructure, and the increasing penetration of variable and distributed energy sources across the globe. Such a modern grid, which is termed as smart grid, can enable the use of all generation and storage options, optimize energy efficiency and asset utilization, improve power quality of end users, self-heal, resist physical and cyber attacks, and finally, enable new business solutions in a more open access electricity market. Taking these aspects into consideration, this particular course is structured and organized in a way as to give glimpses of smart grid components followed by the basics of technologies involved. The course is going to be covered in 12 weeks with a total of 60 lectures and each lecture has a duration of 30 minutes. Talking about the course content, we will begin with the course with a brief introduction to the smart grid, various architectures and standards of smart grid. Later, we will cover various distributed generation sources such as solar, wind, energy storage technologies and their applications. The modeling operation and control of AC, DC, and hybrid AC-DC microgrids will also be concerned in this course. Along with these modules, power system protection aspects and the associated components will also be covered. Emphasis is also given to the control monitoring technologies like wide area monitoring systems using phasor measurement units along with power system protection. To give the student exposure on practical validation of theoretical concepts, a few modules which include 11 lab testbed validations of a few of the concepts covered in the theory is also incorporated. The experimental demonstration includes but not limited to demonstration of solar power and wind power generation, demonstration of battery management system, demonstration of parallel inverter operation in AC microgrid and its challenges, demonstration of grid connected DC microgrid, demonstration of energy management in microgrid, demonstration of ancillary support from virtual synchronous generators, and finally, demonstration of power hardware in loop experimentation for symmetric and asymmetric faults, analysis of grid connected DFIG, wind turbine and many more experiments. Wish you very good luck for the course. Thank you. Wish you all very good luck for the course. Thank you.